Hello everybody, Air Balloon's back here with another Pokemon Showdown Battle. Today we have a special battle, because I was absent for a week, I am sincerely sorry for that, but I won't be posting that regularly, but I'll still post videos, so, so yeah. Okay, so today we our special video, we will go to Team Builder, and, right, so you see this? Team called Mono Ghost. If you didn't guess it, today I'm doing a Mono type battle on PO. At uh, PO. On Pokemon Showdown. So we have Gengar, Jellicent, Rotom, Duskinor, uh, Spirit 2, and Chandelier. And to be fair, these are all first type Pokemon, so it'd be kinda hard to deal with the type that gets me to, but we'll see how the battle goes. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. So that's yeah, right there. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. <coughs> okay, guys. So here we are at a battle, and I have no idea why, but whenever I see these battles, they always I'm on my opponent's side. So you'll know that I'm battling my opponent, but I am on my opponent's side. If that made any sense. Um, cause I show you my team, and it's a pretty crazy battle, and I'll just talk to you about that in, uh, when we, uh, finish this match, so, let's get started. Okay, so he leads off with Vaporeon as I lead off with Gengar, as I, uh, predict the, uh, well, predict nothing, play Fortress, I think, so I go for the Shadow Ball, but that wouldn't have done anything. And I just, I'm, I think I'm Specs Gengar, so I just go for uh, this Shadow Ball and take out the Vaporeon as he misses a Hydro Pump. Now he goes into his uh, Raikou, I think it's Scarf because I max speed and it takes me out of a crit Thunderbolt, which probably didn't matter. So now we're going to Rotom, uh, expecting him to go, because he's locked into uh, Thunderbolt, right? So he goes into his NJ, I just Shadow Ball, get a crit, definitely mattered. And I think I, yeah right, so... Look at it, look, look at that. Uh, Stone Edge from an NJ doesn't take out a Rotom. And I don't have any defense EV, it's very impressive. So I NJ will take him out with two Shadow Balls with that crit, so that's really awesome. And I predict the extreme speed and I go into my Spirit Tomb. And I did predict right, so good play on my part that I'm able to uh, not take any damage. So. Now I have two choices here, I can either um, Calm Mind or I can just go spam some Dark Pulse. I think, uh, wait, no, he does go for the Volt Switch and I think I do go for the Calm Mind here. And, uh, yes, I do go for the Calm Mind here. As he brings in his Fortress here and now he just goes for the sets of his Hazards. I know that, he just, I just go for the Dark Pulse. With the Dark Gem that's 58% and he just proceeds to Volt Switch out. And now he goes into his Guard Chomp, and I go for the Dark Pulse, trying to do as much damage as I can. I do take a huge chunk, but he just does take me out of Outrage. And I go into Duskinor, because I carry the Ice Beam, I'm a mixed attacking set. I am maxed defense, so I am going to take that um, Outrage relatively well and retaliate for Ice Beam. Now he has his Espeon, I just go for the Shadow Sneak, because he's definitely going to take me out. And here's the funny part, I just... I have, it is 3 or 3 now, but his Espeon is doing way too much damage with those Psychics, and this just, what? So I think he's either Scarf or Specs, and I think he's Specs, so now here's where the crazy hacks happens. He goes for the Psychic, I go for the Ice Beam, and it's pretty much GG, right? Wait, I have the Frozen Hacks, and now his Espeon is just there, freezed and cold and shit. So now I'm able to recover all my health back, he does not thaw out, and I go for the Ice Beam. Now he gets his Raikou, it's pretty much GG, no, you will see that when I go for the Ice Beam, I get more hacks, and he gets frozen. So I'm able to recover up all my stuff, and just telling you honestly that he does not thaw out at all. So I want to apologize to my um, opponent here for the hacks, but I'm not going to speed it up here because it's just him getting frozen and me spamming Ice Beam. For the win. Awkward silence. Okay, so you can see he doesn't throw out. Uh, I felt really bad. 
but but at the same time it really saved my ass. I do feel quite bad because I am relying on a hex to win, but it is the match. So now he has his fortress, all he can do is just spam bolt switches. I try to get a, a willow down because I can't toxic and that would really help me. So I miss my first one and then I go for a second one but I miss again and it really sucked but it's not like his fortress is going to do that much as I'm max. I, I really don't know what his jails in is, maybe max defense, I don't know. So I finally managed to burn him here and I we just uh, we trade moves here. He just goes for a Volt Switch, I go for Ice Beam and recover. I think he's... I was hoping he didn't get the Volt Switch. Uh, Volt Switch, he didn't get the Para Hacks and he doesn't, so more hacks on his side here. Now I go for the Recover one last time, like a douche. He goes for the Volt Switch, uh, he gets a Leftovers, but he does get burned and it's pretty much GG from here. So after this turn, the burn will will his hit point down and there will be a dead fortress so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for my absence i'm really really sorry i try to post uh, more battles more often if you guys seem to like these special type of battles i've been getting um a lot more views than all my other normal videos so i think i'll do more of these videos uh the next video will be a double video just like uh, this pre the previous video after this so I hope you guys will enjoy that. And I'll see you guys kind of soon. Bye.